Hello everyone, Elise Quevedo here. Let's talk about data today. And for that, I am joined by Hugo Doucet, Sales Director at Huawei Belgium Enterprise Business Group. Good morning, Hugo. Welcome. Good morning, Elise. Uh, good, to, good to have you here. Really excited to, uh, yeah, to talk to you about some things that's happening on, on Huawei's side. So, exactly. Yes. Me too, Hugo. So let's get <laughs> right to it. Uh, Hugo, we have seen a lot of growth of data across various industries placing higher requirements on data infrastructure mm -hmm. and making storage a key core element in ICT infrastructure construction. Now, Hugo, mm -hmm. during Mobile World Congress this year, to help enterprises address data challenges in the, cha in the intelligent era, you unveiled, if I remember correctly, something called the Fa Flash Forward Action Plan. Can you give us a summary of what this plan is all about? Yeah, yeah. thank you. Thank you for uh, bringing that up, uh, Elise. So yeah, so Huawei as a, a really global leader in data storage, huh? um, we have been investing as a company uh, a lot of time and energy in actually reducing costs um, ringing down, make, making things more easy. And this we've been very successful with that. And one of the cornerstones of this strategy is what we call the flash forward, or we want, we want people uh, to invest more or to use more flash uh, infrastructure. And the idea of this plan is actually to help uh, big companies to address data challenges. There's this program has several components. So first, um, what we want to do is really convince people to put more and more data on a flash backend. With flash, we mean solid state disks, so disks that are fully digital and no more mechanical rotating. There is a lot of advantages going into flash because it's more dense, it's more cost efficient. Um, well, historically, of course, these uh, flash devices were a lot more expensive than mechanical devices. But what we did um, um, over time is adding a lot of intelligence and technology to actually move the, to make these flash uh, solutions a lot more uh, efficient. Uh, we're coming a parity uh, moment that at, I think by 2027, uh, we believe that actually flash uh, will overtake um, or will be more efficient and uh, cost effective than actually um, rotating uh, mechanical devices. At the current stage, we, we would say that 60 to 70 percent of the you know, uh, use cases can go full flash. There is a still a large part that cannot do it, but we, we see this moving into um, uh, the good direction. Um, this program is actually the whole idea of, of helping people go green. Uh, because if you uh, if you go if you go flash, you, your power consumption actually uh, re is reduced, and your lifespan of your equipment is also extended. Uh, we we can go from we can go to lifespans of uh, seven years. It is more sustainable. We also worked at. Um, uh, you know, looking at our waste and actually using more uh, energy efficient so our, or waste uh, efficient solution at our packaging. Uh, so, th so that's all in green and sustainability because, you know, uh, earth, you know, we want to protect the earth. Yes. And then lastly, um, something that has come up with, uh, I think, the recent times is, um, you know, data integrity and data protection. I think globally, and this is really a problem, um, everybody's been um, very uh, cautious or we, we, you know, we see all these ransomware uh, attacks. And um, what we did with this flash forward program is we integrated uh, seven technologies uh, into the solution to ensure that um, you know your data is safe, um, and it's it's not just one; it's seven technologies, seven layers of protection, uh, and we really thought about that, and uh, that also makes part of um, uh, of this program. Yes, so that is so interesting, and thank you as well for sharing it in a way where 
everyone can understand it because when it comes to data and protection, this is such an important topic, but also quite hard sometimes to comprehend. And for example, you just mentioned ransomware. When I met you during my walkabout at your enterprise, okay. yeah, in yeah, yeah. The booth, you were giving me an overview about ransomware, which is, of course, a very hot topic, extremely important. And one of the items that for me, I would love to know more about today was Ocean Protect. So oh, okay. tell us yeah, what yeah. solutions such as yeah. Ocean Protect can actually yeah. do for enterprises. Just go right yeah. into Data protection, okay, in, in general is, is if you look at from a high level, uh, you have your production infrastructure and it's running and it's, you know, spinning along. But what you want to do is actually take a backup of that. Uh, and I think the most uh, important uh, philosophy there is that you want to take a backup. But what is even more important is you want to recover very fast. So the only reason, you know, all these discussions about backup uh, are relevant, but the discussion should also be about restore. How fast can I get back? Can I get my data back into uh, production? So our research and development teams, um, I think they started uh, with this uh, idea about uh, four to five years ago. He says, how can we use Flash? I mean, we're going back to Flash how can we use Flash as a foundation layer to receive backup data? And so we're moving data from the production to the, to the backup platform um, with the intention that to, because when you use Flash, you can actually restore data much faster. I mean, so we're, we're helping customers to move data from a production environment to a backup platform um, but at the same time, we're helping these customers to very, very quickly be able to recover the data back into their uh, production uh, platform. Um, Ocean Protect, um, what we're adding actually to this, to this mix is also on the Ocean Protect itself, we're adding the seven layers of protection as well. Ocean Protect ensures that nobody can tamper with the data. Uh, and then even if you know, they would penetrate. We still have copies on that platform that can't be tampered with. So we have a like multi-layer uh, protection. Uh, the, the, the function of the backup software is to index all the data that you're backing up. So when you want to restore something, you can actually have um, yeah, a catalog. And uh, this catalog will actually tell you, well, this is the data I've backed up and what individual uh, file or element you want to restore. So we've added a, a backup application to really automate uh, uh, this process. Uh, and I think the really genius thing we also added to Ocean Protect recently is that we allow, since we go on Flash on the, on the backup uh, platform, we allow actually the backup platform to become your production environment. Because normally you need to, you need to, Resend the data back to your production and then because that's fast and people tend to see backup as slow or like less performance for production. But since we go flash on backup, we can actually make this backup your production environment very fast. And by doing so, uh, imagine you're a customer, you're attacked by ransomware. The last thing you want to do is get into the newspaper that it took three or two days to recover all your data. With Ocean Protect, we allow you to uh, actually recover in, in like an hour. You, you know, we just take your backup data and within an hour, you're going back into production and then you were attacked, but nobody will know because your, you know, your service is never stopped. So this is a bit the, the value that we want to bring uh, to our customers with Ocean Protect. And there is something very important you mentioned, which is, you can recover the data within an hour. And I think a lot of people may have had experiences, which is true. And of course, nobody really does on average much for prevention. It's always once you've been attacked. And there are many stories out there, exactly what you've said. It took two days, three days. We have no idea what's happened. And of course, understanding that if you get the right solutions, that you can actually get it recovered so fast, enterprises, I think, will have a peace of mind. And hey, for anyone listening, 
I will put links on the description to Ocean Protect, to what Flash Forward is all about. And my last question for you today, then Hugo, is about the upcoming Innovative Data Infrastructure Forum, which will be in Berlin this year. It's coming up in a few short weeks. I attended the IDI Forum last year. It was very eye-opening. So what can you tell us for this year? What can we expect from the forum? It is the, from the storage perspective or infrastructure perspective, it is the Huawei event um, uh, that you should attend. Yeah, uh, it's, it's in Berlin this year. Uh, it's on the 7th of May. And if you are, uh, you know, an enterprise customer, a partner or a journalist, and you want to know what, you know, we are today, one of the number one, uh, one or two players in, in data and data storage infrastructure. So if you want to know what Huawei is doing, it's the place you have to be. Uh, I think I've, I've, you know, I think you've been there um, uh, last two years, me as well. Um, a lot of people there, a lot of buzz, um, and you get to see what we're doing today. And quite often, we're we're kind of giving a glimpse into where we're going to be in 2025, 2026. Because at the core, Huawei is extremely, extremely innovative. I mean, we break uh, ideas, we 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 challenge ourselves. Uh, you know, Lynn, last year um, uh, there is this uh, paradigm in in storage that all data has to go through a CPU. And, and this is this von Neumann uh, concept. I mean, this is a bit technical because last year we announced that we would break that concept. So this would be a completely new architecture. And then I was going like, huh, you know, uh, what are we gonna do? Well, you know, what is this? And, and they're just kind of lifting the lid. They're not telling everything. And then this year at, at Mobile World Congress, we announced the new uh, AI platform that was completely, you know, changing the the way data is, um, you know, handled and and processed, and you know, out of that we see amazing results. So IDMI for me, like for me, is just the place where I go to, and I try to discover and understand um, what we're doing, where we're going. They're going to have a glimpse into 2026, maybe 2027. Um, uh, we, there, there was this recently, uh, in, in the media, they talked about this Arctic ocean, Arctic and Arctic, like a, a cold place. So I'm really looking forward also to learn more about what is ocean Arctic about, uh, this is something for 2025. So those things, um, yeah, that's IDI. It's, it's a place to feel what the company, uh, is, is doing where they want to go. And you get to learn uh, firsthand of, um, yeah, I think, I think the, in my view, the leader uh, in, in terms of innovation and storage on, on the planet, on this planet. Thank you. Uh, yeah. And I do like it the way you've just explained it. And it's also about discovery and yeah. arriving there. And this will be my takeaway from IDI last year for anyone that has never attended and you want to try it for the first time or in the future, it is the fact as well that so many of you as executives are available on the floor to be yes. able to talk to. I think that is extremely important because when you go to forums, sometimes there are a few maybe summits and you watch them and that's it. The people go away and you see you next year. One of the things that I love about this specific forum was how close you can get to the people and truly get answers. Because mm -hmm. I always say technology, this is, for example, our chat today, we've discovered more examples of how technology and innovation can help enterprises be more efficient and productive. And if we don't attend events, if we don't talk to people like you, Hugo, and everybody else on the multiple tech giants around the world, how can we actually make the decisions to partner up or to get the right solutions for you? So once again, Hugo, thank you so much for your time. Let's continue building the right partnerships around the globe. Because everyone, as I always say, together we are stronger. I'm Elise Cavero. <laughs> Thank you, Hugo. Thank you. Bye bye. See you.